Oh, no. It looks like NeoFetch is no more. Uh, NeoFetch, the tool that many of us count on to show off our rad-looking Linux systems. It is one of those CLI tools that has become synonymous with the Linux community. But folks, there's some bad news about NeoFetch. Let's dive in and unpack this bombshell. So, all good things must come to an end, right? On April 26, 2024, the lead developer of NeoFetch, Dylan Arraps, archived the GitHub repo for NeoFetch, making it read only. Yeah, you heard that right. No more updates, no more development. It's like a digital graveyard for NeoFetch. And you know what's even more surprising? They archived all of their other GitHub repositories too, with KISS Linux being another popular project getting the axe. Now, if you ask me, this was kind of coming, but we never knew when, right? I mean, the lead developer has had past instances where they would go AWOL without any clarification or explanation whatsoever. It's like they vanished into thin air. But coinciding with the archiving of all their GitHub repositories, Delanaraps also added a little note to a readme file. Have taken up farming. I guess that's pretty self-explanatory, huh? Whatever their reasoning or circumstances for closing up shop might be, we can only look ahead. But hey, for all you NeoFetch lovers out there, don't panic just yet. There are plenty of alternatives that you can switch to, and trust me, they perform just as well, if not better in some cases. One such alternative is FastFetch. Have you heard of it? It's like the speedier cousin of NeoFetch, written primarily in the C programming language. And get this, it's cross-platform, folks. You can run it on Linux, FreeBSD, Android, Windows, and Mac OS. How cool is that? Now, here's the thing about FastFetch. It's actively developed with a great community backing it, constantly churning out updates and improvements. But here's a little heads up for you. When you post your fast fetch screenshots online, your local IP address will also be revealed. Yikes. But fear not, my friends. You can always use a tool like Obfuscate to censor it out if you're not comfortable having it out in the open. Now I know what you're thinking. But wait, isn't fast fetch available in Linux distributions repositories? Well, yes and no. Many distributions do include FastFetch, but oftentimes it's an older version of the program. So if you want the latest and greatest, you'll want to head over to its GitHub repo and grab the latest release. Trust me, you won't regret it. So there you have it, folks. While NeoFetch may be taking a bow and exiting stage left, there are plenty of other tools out there to help you pimp out your Linux system and impress your friends. Stay tuned for more updates, and until next time, happy hacking! Um, I mean, happy computing.